Welcome everyone. We'll be drawing the Lewis dot structure of AlOH3 which is known as aluminium hydroxide. Now in order to draw the structure we need to find out the valence electrons of the different atoms present in this molecule and for that we need to write the electronic configuration. So the, alu uh, so the electronic configuration for aluminium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p1 and the valence shell is the third shell the outermost shell and valence electrons are those electrons which are present in the outermost shell so 2 plus 1 which is 3 electrons now oxygen oxygen's electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p4 I've drawn the orbital diagrams for 2s and 2p we always draw uh, tend to draw the uh, orbital diagrams of the uh, valence subshells valence shells so for 2s it is having two electrons for 2p it is having four electrons and uh, the number of valence electrons are 2 plus 4, 6 electrons. And hydrogen's electronic configuration is simply 1s1. Uh, and its number of valence electrons is just a single valence electrons. 1ve, 6ve and 3ve. Okay. But now, see, you've got aluminium. Aluminium is a metal, whereas OH... OH minus hydroxide ion. So you're able to see that this molecule will be an ionic one because aluminium is a, a metal, whereas oxygen and hydrogen both are not non metals. Okay. So you've got OH. First, we are going to draw OH. Okay. Oxygen has six valence electrons. Okay. Two plus four, six. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six. And hydrogen has just a single valence electrons. They are making single bonds with each other. Hydrogen has completed its duplet, which means it has two electrons in its valence shell, first and second, two electrons, and is now stable. But what, what about oxygen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it has seven electrons, which means it is still deficient of a single electron, which means that it needs one more electron to gain eight electro electrons or to complete its octet. So it is ready to make a bond. Okay. But since aluminium is a metal, it is not going to make a bond. No, ionic bond is not a bond. It is a force of attraction. So you've got three OHs like this and you've got a single aluminium. You've got aluminium with its three valence electrons, two plus one, three, one, two, three. And you've got three OHs. Okay, and they all need one electron. So aluminium being a metal is very, very, very uh, good in donating electrons, you can say. So it donates single electrons to each of the OH, okay, and gains three plus charge. Whereas OH will now stop making bonds because it has gained uh, an extra electron and oxygen has completed its octate so OH will gain a negative charge these are over with making bonds because they have ga gained the uh, electron they were seeking so you've got three OH minuses so th this is basically an ionic bond in which its structure will be like this you've got a Al3 plus surrounded by three OH minuses. And the minus charge is basically on the oxygen, not on hydrogen, but on oxygen. Because oxygen was uh, short on electron, uh, uh, short on a single electron. And after gaining an electron, it has completed its octate, which means it has now eight electrons. So the negative charge is specifically for oxygen. So this is a lattice of ALOH3 and it will grow in all the three dimensions in x in in y and in z okay all the three axes and they will make a crystal lattice so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video